All right, this is gonna be update number three for the 18650 cold climate winter test. Episode three of getting everything ready to throw all the cells outside. Episode. All right, tons of good comments on the last couple of videos, and you know what? You guys are correct. I am gonna use the 15 to 1900 milliamp hour cells. I am not going to waste the 2000 and up outside in the cold. I just can't do it. I mean, I could do it, but I really don't wanna do it. I wanna use all of those cells in my power rack. Well, after I build the next 14 packs and then I'll have more cells to start the next 14 packs, you know, because I still need to make 14 packs. Do you know what I mean? 14 packs plus 14. Who's counting? And who's who's wanting me to start that? I'll start it hopefully here soon. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Yes, we are going to be using the 15 to 1900 milliamp hour cells. And I was thinking before I was going to maybe build like a blue pack, a red pack, a multi-pack, and all name brand cells pack. I'm not, uh, there's no way I can do that because I don't have enough of each one. So basically we're going to have four mix packs, mix tapes. We're going to do a 4S and I believe I have 352 cells. And if my math on the computer calculator worked out correctly, that should come out to be 88p. Calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. 1.21 gigawatts! 1.21 gigawatts! 1.21 gigawatts! Great Scott! Yeah, so we should have enough for 88p, I hope, if all of my counting was correct. Anyway, let me show you what we got. I kind of separated them into the 15, 16, 17, 18, and 1900 milliamp hour piles. What's gonna be great is the most cells we have is the 1900 milliamp hours. Look at that pile. That's gonna be awesome. And of course the other ones are just fine piles, but the most are 1900 milliamp hours. I think this is gonna work out perfect. I mean, technically we don't need 100p. I was just shooting for that for just a number to shoot at. Same for the cells. I was shooting for 15 to the 1900 milliamp hours, and that's what we're gonna use. On with this video. So what we're gonna be doing in this video is I am going to separate them all into their respective packs and and basically what I'm gonna do, since I've already got them separated into their milliamp hour piles, I'm gonna be setting them all out on the workbench and I'm gonna separate them, separated them, and I'm gonna separate it, so I did it again. And I plan on separating them similar to what I did with my power wall. I didn't use the repacker or anything with the power wall. I think the repacker is probably a super awesome way to do it. It's just there's so many cells and I just don't really have that much time. Not that my way is gonna save me much time because it's probably not, but this is what I'm gonna do. And it worked out great for my power wall. So what I'm gonna do is place them all out into different piles on my workbench. And I'm gonna start with the 1500 milliamp hour cells first. And I'm gonna to separate those into smaller piles and the first pile is going to be 1500 to 1509 and then the next pile is going to be 10 to 19 you know and so forth all the way up to the very end and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put out a couple of the black cell holders to mimic some packs and then I'm going to start with the lowest pile however many is in there I'm going to start separating those out into the four packs until that little pile is gone and then I'm going to move over to the next pile and continue off wherever I finished off from the first pile. I'm gonna do that all the way until I'm done with the 1500 milliamp hour cells. And then I'm just gonna repeat it for the 16, 17, 18, and 1900 milliamp hour cells. That's exactly what I did with my power wall and it worked out yeah, it worked out pretty good. The only thing I did at the very end with my power wall is I did end up writing every single cell down on a piece of paper in a notebook, and then I added up all the cells. I did that for all 14 packs, so I'm gonna do the same thing here for all four packs. Once they're all added up, if they're super, super close, then I'm just gonna leave it. If I need to move a cell around or two, then I'll do that just to get them kind of as equal as possible. All right, let's get started.
All right, so I didn't really realize that my SD card was out of room, so I didn't get the last little portion of the 1900 milliamp hour cells. Hopefully you guys figured out exactly what I was doing, and yeah, it was just sorting a few more cells. You didn't miss anything. How is everybody else making their packs? Is it similar to what I do, or do you just do what Pete does and just throw all the cells in random packs? All right, so the grand total, pack number one came out to be, I'm gonna do it in amp hours, 157.932 amp hours. So 157 amp hours. Pack number two, 158. 0.036 so just a hair more than pack one pack number two 158.280 again just a little bit higher and pack four came out to be a hundred and fifty eight point one eight two so all of these are actually super close I really don't have to do anything because they're all like within a half an amp hour but you know me I am gonna make it just a little bit closer so what I'm gonna do is find the difference and then kind of swap around a few cells just to get it a little bit closer Okie dokie, I swapped around a few cells and to let you know I only swapped four cells I swapped a swell swell I swapped a swell I swapped a cell from one and three and then I did a swell swell swap look at that I'm already look what you guys made me do and then I also swapped a cell from two and four and that was it so now the amp hours are just a hair closer all right so pack one is 158.103 pack two is 158.111 pack three is 158.109 and pack four is 158.107 technically pack one is the lowest with 158.103 but damn that is freaking close that's like what math and stuff difference. So I think that worked out pretty damn awesome. Like I said before, I really didn't have to do anything at all because it was just that close, but why not make it just a little bit closer? Now, of course, I did use all the different chargers. Just like you're not supposed to do is use a whole bunch of different chargers, you know, whenever you're trying to make a power wall. You should technically use the same type of charger so you get all of the same type of results. Of course, I don't do that. I used all the chargers I have. The Opus always reads high, the Lido Kala always reads low, the Fox Nova and the Xtar Dragon read pretty much the same, and the newest Sky RC MC3000 reads just a little bit low. That that I've noticed at least, or at least my charger, reads a little bit low, similar to the Lido Kala. So having all those different ranges of numbers, they're all mixed throughout this pack. So of course my number is gonna be a little bit different than what the antimatter is gonna show whenever I do get around to, not in this video, probably maybe in the next video. I'm gonna be doing a capacity test with the antimatter and we'll see how close that actually turns out to be. And then of course I will also write that number on the pack as well. All right, well I think I'm gonna make these all appear to be red, similar to Pete's cell five. I think cell five was actually just a bunch of random cells just charged on like an opus or something and then thrown into a big pack just to see exactly what would happen. But I did capacity check all cells, so it's technically not a cell five. None of these are like a cell five, so never mind. I still haven't come up with a good name for these. Does anybody have a good name? I don't know. We'll have to think of something good.
Okay, they are all, well, they all appear to be red. I don't know, I guess I could have made it all multicolored, but why not kind of make it all one color? If I had another color, I would have made it another color. Just the majority of these were red. You guys would do it too. I mean, I could make a rainbow. And then I could wear my Hello Kitty apron at the same time. Actually, I'm gonna be wearing that soon. Soon enough, don't you worry. And splendid. The Fox Novo and the, what is that? Um, uh, probably something on my nose. Maybe like some skin or something? I'm not sure. 